Power's come back on. We're back at it. Uh, well, it's still rolling, so I gotta do this in pieces, but I'm gonna get some videos out. It's gonna probably be sporadic this week. I apologize, but I am excited to get things going. So, uh, here we go. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's a fun little animated movie for kids. Oh, that sounds like fun. It? What's it about? It's about this girl, Coraline, who finds a magical secret passage to an alternate world that has alternate versions of her parents. Oh, that's actually perfect. I've been promising my daughter that I'd produce a kid's movie, and let me just call her real quick, okay? She's gonna love this. <laughs> sure. Hey, Cindy, Daddy's finally gonna make a children's movie, just like he promised, okay? Oh, uh, such a sweet moment. She's super happy. This is really gonna help our family situation. Anyway, Coraline's <laughs> other parents have buttons sewn into their skulls where their eyes should be. <laughs> Daddy's gonna call you back, okay, Cindy? Bye, Cindy. What was that about the buttons? Bye, Cindy. Oh, they all have buttons sewn into their eyeballs. <laughs> Coraline's other mother has a history of stealing children's eyeballs and sewing buttons in their places. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. With needles so sharp you can barely feel them. <laughs> oh, I thought I heard you say it was a kid's movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids are gonna love it. There's a talking cat and stuff. Oh, talking cats are tight. They <laughs> sure are, sir. That button thing sounds like a super horrifying element, though. But start from the beginning. Maybe I'm not getting it. <laughs> sure, well, Coraline and her parents move into a new place, but her parents are too busy to spend time with her. Sounds like a good kid's movie so far. <laughs> she meets this local kid named YB. Oh, that's a cute name. It's short for Why Born. Wow, okay, that's like one step up from naming your kid Mistake. Yeah, and he thinks that his grandmother owns the Pink Palace apartments and doesn't usually let kids one move in, but up. he's not supposed to talk about it. Oh, and later if you put two and two together, you're like, oh, it's because she knows that kids keep disappearing from there. Yeesh, right. so why does she allow Coraline and her family to move in? So the movie can happen. <laughs> gotcha. So anyway, YB gives Coraline a doll he found that looks exactly like her, except it has buttons for eyes. Instant red flag, so she throws it away. No, she carries it around and eventually Eventually, it starts changing places on its own. Another massive red flag, so she throws it away. <laughs> she does not, and eventually she finds a passageway to the other world that's like a more colorful version of her home. Where the parents have buttons sewn into their skulls. Please tell me that's a red flag for her. Oh yeah, that does freak yeah, her out. Okay, does. good. For about five seconds, then she immediately and completely gets over it and has dinner with them. <laughs> oh, she does. Yeah, and she's gonna go back to the real world, and that's just gonna confirm how amazing everything is in the other right. world. How so? Well, like, she wants her mom to buy her a pair of $25 gloves, but she doesn't want to. Totally reasonable decision, actually. So Coraline's <laughs> gonna go back into the other world and just have a great time. Oh yeah, what kind of stuff does she do? Well, these two silly old ladies are gonna put on a big show and the audience is gonna be filled with dogs. Oh, okay, you know what? Other than the button thing and the doll thing, this actually sounds like a pretty oh, good Lord. movie for kids. And the two old ladies are gonna be practically naked. One of them's barely covering up her nipples. <laughs> oh, there it is. And eventually Coraline's gonna start to catch on that stuff <laughs> in the other world is kind of weird. Finally, so how does she start to catch on? Well, first First of all, her other mother tells her she can stay forever if she gets her eyeballs replaced with buttons. Wow, at this point I'm surprised she caught on that that's a red flag. Yeah, and also her other father and other YB start to warn her that other mother created this whole place just to lure her in. So how are other father and other YB able to warn her? What do you mean? Well, if the other mother created the whole world, that means she also created other father and other YB, right? So why would she create them with free will and an understanding of good and evil? I don't know. Fair enough. So eventually Coraline's oh, great gonna questions. get thrown inside a mirror where she's gonna meet the eyeless ghosts of children that have been there so long they've forgotten their lives. Yep. Oh, why are you like this? <laughs> it's just fun times. What kind of awful stuff happened to you as a kid? You couldn't fun possibly times. imagine. So anyway, the dead kids are like, if you find our eyes, you'll free our souls. So she sets out to find the eyes. Yes, she has to find all three of them. I thought you said there were three kids, so she'd have to find six eyeballs. Listen, who's to say how many eyes humans have? Biologists. Yeah, nobody <laughs> knows. So I imagine it's gonna be hard for Coraline to wander around in a world that other mother completely created and look for Whoa. the dead kid eyes. Actually, it's gonna be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, we're gonna say that <laughs> the other mother hard. has a thing for games, so Coraline's gonna be like, I have a game. Let me try to find the eyeballs. And that works. It does, and so then she does. Wow, well, I'm glad the horrifying moments are over and we can wrap up. And then other mother's gonna turn into a giant spider with needles for limbs. And her eyes are gonna get gouged out, and she's gonna blindly chase Coraline through a giant, disgusting web and try to rip her eyes out. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> So, so what do you think of the movie? Well, it sounds absolutely oh. horrifying, but I already mm -hmm. promised my daughter we'd make it, so I guess my hands are tied. <laughs> Fantastic. And I think if I hire a band like They Might Be Giants uh. to put together kind of a fun soundtrack, we could maybe make this enjoyable for kids. Oh, that's a really good way to lighten things up. I'm gonna make sure that doesn't work out. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I know a few of you asked for Coraline, so here you go. Uh, 
very funny from Ryan George for the pitch meeting. This was this was this was a good one. Coraline, I really enjoyed though. It was a fun movie, but it was one of those scenarios where it's like, is this really for kids? Especially with those twins, the old twins, and they pretty much were not really covered up much. Uh, the whole time I'm watching that, I'm kind of looking at the kids, like. Uh, uh, should we fast forward through this part? It's a terrifying movie, but it's also got moments where it feels like it's for kids. It's like, it's just in this weird space, this weird space, not like a Nightmare Before Christmas. Like my parents never let me watch that movie. Like I never, I've actually haven't seen that movie all the way through yet. <laughs> I need to watch that movie from beginning to end so I know exactly what goes on. Then I can watch the pitch meeting and I think there's an honest trailer for it too. It reminded me of that because it's, you know, obviously the same type of stop motion animation, but it, this one is a little more accessible, I think, than Nightmare Before Christmas and let me know if I'm wrong. Movies like that, they always have this weird thing about them, especially when they're Tim Burton directed. This one was not, but when they're Tim Burton directed, it does have that those moments where it's like, is this for kids or is it for adults or is in that weird space where it's for both, but you question some of the things that are in there. I don't know, but I did enjoy the movie. It's a really good movie. We actually all enjoyed it when we watched it as a family. So I guess it did its part bringing us together. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on Coraline. Let me know your thoughts on the Coraline pitch meeting from Ryan George and the Screen Rant. Check out some of our other most popular videos on the channel as well. There's a number of those. That's all because of you guys watching them and liking them and commenting. So thank you so much. You can also check out the Avengers Infinity War versus Reaction right over there. If you've seen all that, then I will see you guys in the comments for this one.